What's up guys? It's your boy the game M L L and welcome back to another exciting episode of Friday Night Freddy's. Now if you guys missed it, we've had a lot of encounters between Grim Foxy, the Jacko Animatronics, and of course, Luigi. So if you guys missed it, Mario has been missing ever since he was dropped into the molten lava pit by Grim Foxy and his henchmen. So the main event of today's episode will be Luigi taking on Grim Foxy. Now Grim Foxy has promised Luigi that if he can defeat him, he will take him to Mario. That means Grim Foxy knows exactly where Super Mario is, so hopefully we get some answers by the end of this episode. In the meantime, we're going to be starting a number one contenders tournament to take on Super Sonic EXE for the Retro Championship. Now in the Retro Championship division, there's going to be 8-bit themed characters, including this guy right here. Please welcome back Michael Afton. Now Michael Afton has been absent from the show for quite some time. If you remember correctly, he was part of the Afton family stable who were wreaking havoc on Friday Night Freddy's for quite some time, led by Golden Freddy, of course. Okay, and his opponent, he is basically the game Baldi's Basics in a nutshell. Please welcome Baldi. Now, this is not a creation that I made. This is a community creation. You can find him on the WWE 2K19 community using the hashtag Baldi. Also, big shout out to DJ Color Raccoon for recreating some crappy edits version of Michael Afton in today's video. So, shout out to you guys. I believe you guys have probably changed your names about three or four times. But you guys know who I am. You guys are my click. All right. So, Baldi hasn't been in a match since he took on Slenderman when he was still studying ruler jitsu. We'll see if he uses some of his expertise in today's contest. All right, so make sure you guys have smashed the like button. Hopefully you guys are going to help me get to 29,000 subscribers pretty soon. I'm really close to climbing to 30,000 subscribers. So please share this video on social media. Hashtag FNAF, hashtag the game MLL, hashtag YouTuber. Post that on your social media. Share this video, tell them about yours truly. All right, so I'm gonna be doing a little bit of a revamp on my uh, on my YouTube channel and on my Twitter. I'm going to be releasing a repolish of my channel, a little update to the game MLL channel. No, it's been a while since I've updated the fan art and the thumbnail art that was uh, predominantly on the front of the page. Might even be changed by the time you're watching this. So uh, if it is, disregard that and enjoy what is now. <laughs> All right, anyway, we have Michael taking on Baldy. Oh. Immediately poking him right in the eye, just starting things out bad. Oh, Michael not taking too kindly to that, dumps Baldy right on the back of his skull. And quite frankly, it's a big target. <laughs> Boom, head first into the canvas. And Baldy is rolling Oh, I thought he was rolling all the way to the floor. It looks like he's trying to get back to his feet here. Michael Afton, he misses. He gets caught with a right cross from Baldy. Baldy just a little bit too short to reach Michael. Oh, he capitalizes. He catches him coming in. Boom, sidewalk slam. And Michael is taking control of this match as Baldy attempts to defend himself. Baldy now putting him in the corner. Oh, big ruler chop to the chest. Welcome to my schoolhouse. Oh, he's taking him to school. Baldy's talking trash to Michael. Two. And the fans are counting along with Baldy outside the ring here. Three. Looks like coronavirus restrictions have been lifted from Friday Night Freddy's. Baldy now looking for something under the ring. Hopefully it's not something too basic. Oh, he's got a steel folding chair. Maybe he's gonna set it up and, and sit at a desk, perhaps. Cause he's a math teacher. Gets, he gets thrown into the corner. Michael, oh, he mows over the official. He gets caught in the crossfire. 
And now Michael's putting the boots to Baldy. He hits the ropes. Boom! Right across the side of his face, and Baldy might be missing a couple teeth after that one. Oh, Michael putting on a clinic here, taking Baldy apart. Michael's just getting warmed up, apparently. Baldy has awakened. Oh! Gets shut down, he gets caught with a fisherman suplex. Michael not wanting the victory, he goes to the other side of Baldy. And he gets countered by Michael Afton. Nice fireman's carry. He follows through. And he goes over the top rope, spilling out onto the floor, right under the steel gratings here on Friday Night Freddy's. Oh, nice body slam from Michael. He's got him in the fireman's carry. Oh, he dumps him right on his back. He rolls through. He's lining him up with those steel steps. Boom! Double AA into the steel steps. It's like a release version of the Death Valley Driver. And Baldy's got to be feeling that one. Baldy finally looking for something under the ring. What's he getting here? A table? Michael in pursuit. Oh, he gets mowed down by Baldy. Baldy's laying the smackdown with the table. There's a big kick to the spine from Baldy. Looks like he's not done looking for weapons. What's he going to pull out next? Thought that was the ruler for a moment. He's digging. I don't think he wanted that sledgehammer. And here comes Michael. Oh, Baldy's pulled out that ladder. Oh, and he clocks Michael right in the face. Wonder if William Afton is gonna get involved in this match. Oh, and he ignites the table. Baldy putting some space between the two. Michael's arm. Oh, did you see that kick? He rushed over there, hopped over the table. Boom, exploding powerbomb into the flaming table. You see the embers there coming off of Michael from that one. He's got that ruler. Oh, and he's clacking him over the back with that one. Boom! He hits the AA back on Michael. He stole his move. One, two. Oh, I thought that was going to be it for sure. Just barely getting his shoulder off the canvas as the hand was coming down for three. Now Baldy looks like he's kicking it up into a higher gear. Oh, wait a second. I think that he spotted the ladder from across the ring. That's exactly what he's doing. He's going for that steel ladder. Oh, Michael just barely counters in the nick of time. Oh, he tripped over the ladder. I think he may have rolled his ankle or something. I'm not sure. The official should go over there and check on Michael and make sure he's okay enough to continue this contest. Michael's starting to recover. Here comes Baldy. Might be looking to finish him here. Oh, he counters. Oh, he ducks out of the way. Kick to the sternum. Oh, he sweeps him right onto the ladder. And Michael's getting a second win here. Boom, smashes him face first into the canvas. And Michael might be setting him up for that famous 6 a.m. suplex. And I thought Baldy was going to counter. Not this time. Oh, his head goes right into the ladder. Oh, my goodness. One, two, three. And here is your winner, Michael Afton. Let's take a look at how that went down, guys.
some action out on the floor, but the AA on the steel steps, oh my goodness. Vicious. Can't forget about the flaming table spot. But there was the nail in the coffin, the 6 a.m. suplex right into that steel ladder. Baldy had no choice but to throw in the towel. All right, guys. Well, let's take a look at the bracketology for this tournament. The next match is going to be Papyrus taking on Donkey Kong. So that's going to be coming up next. We're also later going to be have Wario versus Waluigi in the tournament. And then we're also going to be having Samus Aran versus Mega Man in the tournament. So we have some awesome matches coming up. Let's get ready for the next contest. Like I said, it's going to be Papyrus taking on Donkey Kong. If you guys don't know who Papyrus is, he's from a little game called Undertale. Big shout out to 20 for the win for recreating this version of Papyrus in WWE 2K19. You can download this on the community using the hashtag Undertale. Make sure it's by 20 for the win. It's here to mix things up, I guess. Get thrown into the mix of things. Don't forget to smash the like button, guys. Sorry I was not able to release this episode on Friday. Um, just to give you guys a little update in my personal life, I just uh, took over a business. I'm gonna be the general manager pretty soon. So I have been dedicating a lot of my uh, extra time to my job. But um, don't forget, I have uh, five kids also to take care of, so I apologize for not getting this out on Friday. But you guarantee that I'm doing it exactly when I have some extra time for you guys. So. Don't forget, smash the like, subscribe, make sure you guys have the notification bell turned on because I don't always get to do episodes as often as I want to. However, I have been live streaming my butt off last week, so hopefully I can be doing some more of those real soon. Make sure you guys drop in, make a donation, smash the like button, something. Just come say hi. Even that's cool. All right, you can download this on the community on 2K19 and 2K20 on PlayStation 4 using the hashtag Nintendo or Donkey Kong or DK. Make sure it's made by yours truly, the game MLL, and not a cockroach poser. Seriously, guys, I'm so tired of people stealing my formulas and then re-uploading them and going, look what I did, everybody. I'm so great. All right. Oh, Papyrus runs right over Donkey Kong with that double stomp. Now he's ascended to the top ropes. Papyrus might be looking to close this thing early. I think he may have caught Donkey Kong off guard. Usually Papyrus is full of fun and games, but it looks like he's uh, cranked up the serious notch here for this match. The serious meter has reached its limit for Papyrus. Boom, fall away slam. Off the top ropes, Donkey Kong shifting this match quickly. And these guys are trading blows here. Papyrus runs in. Donkey Kong. Oh! Thought he was going to throw him, but... Oh, look! Papyrus with another counter. Nobody home. Oh, he runs right into a DDT. And Papyrus caught him off guard that time. That's for sure. Short arm clothesline there from Donkey Kong. Man, this retro tournament is off to a great start. Don't forget, we're going to be having the main event coming up after this today. It's going to be Grim Foxy taking on Luigi. Now, like I said, guys, Mario has been missing. If you guys have been uh, missing those episodes, I recommend checking those out before you watch today's main event. You're going to appreciate the main event much more. Um, you can see Luigi and Grim Foxy in some of my video thumbnails as uh, background characters. Those are the videos you're going to want to go check out first. All right, Donkey Kong now, almost putting away Papyrus in the middle of my big spiel here. Donkey Kong staying on top of Papyrus, quite literally crushing him. And Papyrus hanging him upside down. Oh, he guillotines him into the bottom rope. And Donkey Kong getting hit with a modified version of the stun gun. And Papyrus is looking to put him away here. He puts him in the corner. 
Might be looking for the six feet under Moonsault. Boom! Crushing blow from Papyrus. I think Donkey Kong might be dust. Papyrus, I think that was one of his best shots so far here on Friday Night Freddy as far as his solo career goes. So he can do some interesting things with Sans. And he's gonna spike Tombstone that like button just like you should. Boom! It's the spike Tombstone. Hooks the leg. Is that gonna be enough to put away Donkey Kong? One, two. What's it gonna take to put away Donkey Kong? He's like a damn tank. Donkey Kong now hooking him up for the power bomb. Papyrus counters. Nice clothesline from Papyrus. Who do you guys think is going to win the Retro Championship? Who do you guys want to see take on Supersonic EXE? Let me know in the comment section. Also, don't forget we're going to be having Sans versus Mega Man. We're also going to be having Waluigi versus Wario. We already know that Michael Afton has advanced. Who do you guys think is going to win this thing? Who do you think deserves to win this thing? And who do you think is going to go the distance? Let me know in the comment section on today's video. Papyrus just barely missing that move. He was going for a float over neck breaker. Oh my goodness. Amazing strength from Donkey Kong, but quite frankly, it doesn't surprise me. Where's Donkey Kong going? He's rolled out of the ring. He's looking for something. Feel sorry for Papyrus. It can't be good. Whatever he's got, he's three times stronger than him. Oh, he cracks him over the skull of the steel chair. He's decimating his opponent on the ground with the steel chair. That might be a wrap for Papyrus. Oh, Papyrus finally comes to, rolls out of the way. Throws the chair back in his face. This is not the time to start celebrating Papyrus. Oh, that may have cost him the match there. He gets caught right in the face with the knee. He's going for that strike to the ribs, but he blocked. Oh, he rolls him like a sack of potatoes. Or I should say bananas. Gorilla Press, boom, face first into the canvas. And I think Papyrus just got squashed this time. He's winding up for that Gorilla Punch. We've seen him use that on Super Smash Brothers. Boom, Donkey Punch from Donkey Kong. Let's see that one more time, guys. So nice, we're gonna show it twice. Maybe thrice. The Donkey Punch right in the face from DK. And that might be a DKO. Rolls Papyrus up. One, two, three. All right, looks like Donkey Kong is gonna be taking on Michael Afton, or should we shake things up? Should we move the opponents around? I don't think we've ever done that in a tournament. That'd be an interesting idea. Maybe we should move the opponents around for round two. Should I keep it how it is or move it around? Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments section. Don't miss the main event, guys. It's gonna be Luigi taking on Grim Foxy, and I promise it's gonna be a match that you're not going to want to miss, and that's coming up next. You got time to smash the like button. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you guys get alerted when I'm live streaming. I do face cam when I'm live streaming. I'm gonna try to start doing face cam again on my videos. I'm going to be uh, transitioning where I live pretty soon, so I don't want to get too comfortable in a setup and then turn around and have to uh, start over from scratch again. So uh, in that respect, I'm probably just gonna keep my face off my videos for a little bit, but it's gonna be returning. Um, and then I'm going to also be, like I said, doing live streams where you guys can see me on face cam. So make sure you guys have turned the notification bell on so you guys know when I'm going live. Lately, I've been playing some uh, other games besides WWE 2K. I've been checking out some Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Battle for the Grid, and I've also been checking out WWE 2K Battlegrounds. Um, if you guys want to see me rage out and cry like a little baby, you can see me lose to Nikki Cross on my last live stream that I did. It was kind of embarrassing. But uh, hey, <laughs> how about a little bit of humility for the game, right?
Go smash the like, guys. Go check out that video. In the meantime, here we got our main event. It's going to be Luigi taking on Grim Foxy. And if he wins, we get to find out why Number Mario Luigi. is missing. Number one. It's main event time, guys. And I promise this match is going to be so epic. It's going to make you shit your chi chis. All right, here he comes. The plumber from another mother. The taller brother, but not the older brother, I might also add to that. Here comes Luigi. He is going to be a superstar one day. Do you guys remember when you had hashtag push Luigi trending in my last live stream of WWE 2K where he was uh, featured? I do. And I'm trying to listen to you guys and see who is going to get a push this year. It's a shame that he can't be in the Retro Championship Tournament, seeing as how he's trying to figure out where the whereabouts of Mario are. But here comes his opponent. Hopefully we get some answers here, guys. Alright, don't forget that this character was finally released on WWE 2K19 by yours truly. So if you haven't downloaded Grim Foxy on WWE 2K19, he's there. I also patched him on PS4 for WWE 2K20. So please, go download Grim Foxy. He's finally available and fixed along with Freddy Frostbear. I also put a black ice version of Freddy Frostbear. And make sure that it is not by somebody copying most of my creations. All right? I'm not saying every single one that they do is a copy of mine. I'm saying most of the formulas were my formulas that have been either modified or just slightly changed. Um, but it's being deliberate and some people are throwing it in my face. So I'm just making sure people understand who the OG is. Luigi catching Grim Foxy off guard. He hits the ropes, comes back with a reverse spinning elbow. And Luigi fired up on all cylinders here. Boom, DDT from Grim Foxy. And Luigi has to be careful not to slip into a trap from Grim Foxy, as anxious as he is to find out where Mario is missing. Hangs him up. Boom, he kicked him like a Koopa shell. Hooks the leg. Not even a one count. Luigi needs to get a hold of himself here. Got high stakes on the line. Grim Foxy now, sending up to the middle ropes. Boom, clubbing blow. And now Luigi defending himself against Grim Foxy, throws him into the steel steps. Grim Foxy trying to recover. I think that steel hurt a lot more than he anticipated. Luigi up on the apron, boom, flying forearm. Now Luigi's up on the top ropes, Grim Foxy, oh, he slides in. Very quick as a cat is Grim Foxy, running in there, catching him with that body slam. Rolls through, wraps him up in his leg. Modified version of the half Boston Crab. Grim Foxy just trying to stretch out Luigi a little bit. He's much ganglier than Foxy. It might not be beneficial to uh, <laughs> Grim Foxy and his strategy here. Oh, he just Goomba stomped a Mario brother. How insulting. And now he's talking some shit in the face of Luigi. Snap suplex. Oh, wait a second. Luigi counters, rolls through. Boom! He hits that Smash Brothers uppercut clothesline. Modified version of the uppercut. Using that lariat to spin his opponent upside down and inside out. And he hooks him up for the backpack stunner. Boom! Luigi changing it up a bit. Dipping into his Luigi's Mansion roots with the backpack stunner. Hooks the leg. One, two... Oh, and I thought that was going to be it. Luigi's stress is at an all-time high. He's getting a little bit desperate here. He's looking under the ring. He's found himself a steel chair. Oh, 
will poison Rana into the steel chair. And it might be lights out for Luigi after that one. Oh, Foxy! Laying his beat down on Luigi. And Luigi just barely escaped. No, he didn't. He turns it into a DDT. And Luigi gets driven skull first right into the chair. Oh my goodness. Asking you shall receive. This is where Mario was dumped over the barricade into the pits of hell. Oh, and he gets thrown on his back. T-bone suplex from Jacko Bonnie. Jacko Chica now ascending to the top ropes. Oh, big time splash. A frog splash from Foxy on the legs and an elbow drop from Bonnie. Oh my goodness, these guys are just dissecting Grim Foxy. And remember guys, there is no disqualification. Oh my goodness, these guys are stomping a mud hole in Luigi and walking him dry. And what would you expect? It's a three-on-one assault. Now they're just picking the bones of Luigi here. This can't be good, guys. Oh, chicken kicking right in the skull. Boom, double cutter. Oh, I think you may have missed the elbow drop. That's all right, Jack Obani, you get points for trying. Now he released suplexed him across the ring. Luigi now getting just destroyed in this onslaught. He gets thrown over the top ropes and I don't think Luigi's gonna be able to hang with the likes of Grim Foxy today. He's got some kind of a, a, a blue... Is that a sword? Is he trying to chop Luigi's leg off? Well, lucky he's a Super Mario and he just shrinks and then he dies uh, a different way. But uh, it's for another day. Hopefully not today. Please don't kill Luigi. And Luigi getting dropped. Oh, he's getting drugged, excuse me, over by the back of his neck. He just lit himself on fire on the top of the ladder. Grim Foxy. Oh, like a meteor out of the sky splashes Luigi on fire through the table. Let's see that one more time, guys. Oh my goodness. I can't believe what I just saw. I think Luigi might be broken in half. Luigi now getting launched into the ring. Chica riding the ladder into Luigi with the elbow drop. I don't know why they're not trying to end the match. It's only a matter of time now. Luigi getting launched towards the ladder. Now they're all climbing back up to the top ropes looking to just stomp Luigi repeatedly. We might have to end this match by knockout. The official might have to check Luigi if he doesn't start fighting back. Oh, he finally catches somebody with a left cross. Reverse spinning elbow from Luigi. Oh, wait a second. He's using a fire flower. He's powered himself up. But these guys are essentially made out of fire, aren't they? I don't know if that's going to help or not. Luigi throwing fireballs at the Jacko animatronics, and I think that may have just angered them more than it was affecting them. Luigi may have hurt his hand trying to chop Chica there. And Chica, tired of Luigi's BS, drops him on the back of his neck. Now Jacko Bonnie trying to move in for the kill. Oh, he gets launched over the top ropes. Grim Foxy gets caught off guard. Jacko Chica turns around. He's just figured out what's going on. Oh, wait a second. Luigi hooks him up. Boom! The backpack stunner. It's a body slam from Luigi. Oh, and he throws him like a swanton into Chica. The Jacko animatronics have been taken care of for the time being. Oh, I spoke too soon. The Jackos barely saving Grim Foxy as they launch Luigi into the steel ring post. That's got to leave a mark. Jacko animatronics right back on top of things. Boom, and he gets dumped in the center of the ring. 
and the Jacko animatronics all up in the air at the same time. Boom! Devastating offense from the Jacko animatronics and Grim Foxy. And I think it's only a matter of time for Luigi now, guys, unfortunately. They're looking for some sort of tandem offense. He picks up the the humongous Jacko Chica with a leg drop. Boom! And for some reason, he's just having a hard time trying to land that elbow drop. Maybe Jacko Bonnie should stick to the ground. Oh, Luigi finally stirring around, catches him with a lariat. Jacko Chica gets caught. Boom! He gets launched out of the ring. Oh! He catches Grim Foxy with that Smash Brothers uppercut. And there goes Jacko Bonnie over the top ropes. Boom! He gets launched out onto the barricade. Jacko Chica in to make the save, but he gets cut off by Luigi. He's looking for that backpack stutter. Pretty soon, guys. Something's got to give here. Hope we get to find out what happened to Mario today. And Luigi. What's Luigi looking for here? He looks so tired. I don't see anybody else in sight. If you're going to make your move, Luigi, do it now. Oh my goodness. He springboard curb stomped Grim Foxy's face right into that steel ladder. Rolls over for the cover. One, two, three. And here is your winner. Luigi. Holy shit. What an epic battle between Grim Foxy and the Jacko animatronics and Luigi. Holy cow, now we get to find out what happened to Mario. All right, guys, well, that's going to do it for today's episode. This is going to be a two-parter, so make sure you have turned the notification bell on. Make sure you have smashed the like button. We get to find out what happens to Mario now, guys. I am super stoked for the next episode of Friday Night Freddy's. Hope you guys are, too. I'm your boy, The Game, MLL, signing out. Catch you guys next time. Holla! This is Velvet Sky telling you to be sure and subscribe to The Game MLL for the best horror and video game creations on WWE 2K Games. Holler!